you're still watching ways now valentine's day <laughs> the ancient romans may also be responsible for the name of our modern day of love emperor claudius ii executed two men both named valentine on february 14th of different years in the third century and their uh, martyrdom was honored by the catholic church with the celebration of saint valentine's day now so happy valentine's happy day valentine's happy valentine's day. day so i can be your boo for today yeah no 14 oh, years in prison oh, so that's why i brought cake for you oh, i love lady. it thank you and it's so nice uh -huh. so don't say that nobody celebrated you on valentine's true, day true true mm. Thank hmm? you for thinking of us. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. And cake for all the people behind the camera because they are already eyeing the cake. <laughs> the, cake the cake will go around. It will. Let's share some love this, this season. I think it's beyond just, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, yeah. husband, yeah. wife. Really. Just show love to the next person. That's what is important. True. All right, ladies, what did you find for us, Sansi? Let's go. With you okay, first. well, I'm going all the way to Russia in Moscow News today. Um, Russia currently is undergoing changes in her political system and constitution. And uh, President Putin said on Thursday, um, of course, one of the major things he highlighted was his refusal to give any part of uh, uh, the Russian territory to Ukraine and Japan because Ukraine so far has been fighting, you know, well, they have interest in some parts of Moscow mm -hmm. in land dispute. But anyway, what caught my attention was he saying that he would not legalize uh, gay marriage as long as he remains president. And so there is no acknowledgement of parent one and parent number two. Obviously, Putin is very aligned to the Orthodox Church. So he says it has to be dad a mom. If it's not dad and mom, then it, it, yeah, there can't be a marriage, not under the Russian territory. <sighs> and I find it, you know, I, one of the things I respect Putin for is the fact that Putin is a man. Like, <laughs> Putin, that's why the fact that he looks like Mona Lisa, Putin is a man. Like, he says something and, and he means it. He, means it. he stands sticks. by yeah. it. And I really, really admire that about people. A couple of decisions he's made, I may, I may not be in support of it, but this particular one about not legalizing gay marriage, I mean, I don't discriminate gay, but I do support him. You know, you know the funny thing about this gay thing is, you know, there's so much pretense and buzz mm -hmm. around it. You know, um, recently this Nigerian Barbie doll boy, what's his name? Oh, now turned woman, Bob Brisky or whatever, oh, saying that if they were to legalize gay um, marriages in Nigeria, mm. that a lot of homes will be broken. You know, and and I'm wondering, okay, so we have quite a huge yes. number of people Undercover. pretending. So maybe when they legalize it, people come out of their shadows. That's what probably is informing the decisions that is happening in America. But what I want Americans to understand and respect is that mm. even if you are fine with it and legalizing it in your country and be completely turning everything that we know about family upside down, yeah. if somebody says that I am against it, respect my yeah. own opinion yes, as yeah. well. Right. Respect my own stand as well. Don't try to shove your opinion down mm. my truth. You know. And you know the thing is, even if even if they like, for instance, they've legalized gay in America, it still hasn't ended the rate of divorce. As a matter of fact, it has increased mm. because they're like, oh, we are bisexual, we are oh, bi, no, we are this. Too many, too many people are even more confused than when it was just <laughs> just male just and female. Yeah. yeah. Well, I have no comments on it, really. <laughs> I think we should just move yes. on, right? So what did you find for us, Faith? So today, um, I found in Ondo State, um, Achievers University expelled six students for cultism. And I'm really, like when I saw this headline, I was really, really happy because I feel that students already go through a lot, preparing for exams, and then during the course of the year, there's also strike and whatnot. And then there's, you know, there's also bribing of sex with, you know, female students mm. and whatnot. So this is like one less thing to worry about having to, you know, to be involved in cultism. It doesn't stop it. It doesn't stop, but I feel like at least they, you know, creating a conducive environment for people to go and learn mm. and, you know, just quickly get their degree. It doesn't stop it. Okay, so I went to Delta State University. Yeah. Luckily for me, the period I was in school was the time they said probably that there was a break in cultism activities. Not that it was not there. Mm -hmm. It was there. You know, because then the governor was really strict on the... So you know the thing about what cultism, when I was going into school, somebody advised me, mm -hmm. don't be like this. A cult wants to know your routine. Your routine has to be a triangle. Triangle meaning school, church, and back to your hostel. Yeah. So if you are caught in all those, some kinds of party that you should not be caught in, they will say, yeah. okay, they'll come after you. So I think cultism, to some extent, they are a bit 
they, they actually have a, a structure. Yeah. It's not just they just come and disturb everybody anyhow. You must be... Actually, there's something about cultists yeah. and good girls. Like the church girls are always going after them. <laughs> I mean, I... I'm not there. I didn't say that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on to my story. <laughs> That's sensi. All right. Um, okay. Confusion as Supreme Court voids uh, Leon's um, victory in Bielsa. Oh, Bielsa. Bielsa State. We're going all the way to Bielsa State. And um, um, they said a day after the official uh, a day to the official inauguration of Mr. John Leon at, um, of the of Progressive Con Congress, um, the Bielsa State government, uh, Governor, the Supreme, as Bielsa State Governor, the Supreme Court yesterday voided his victory at the poll. Now, what caught my attention in this story, because Lamy was trying to explain some things to us, mm -hmm. but it According to this report that's um, from The Guardian, it was stated that the names that was used on the living certificate of the deputy candidate was different from the name that he used in his first degree, was different from his, the name on his NYSC certificate, was different from the name in the master's certificate. How can well, one person... Well, so it now for them, it feels like it is fraud Right, that the person is fraudulent, and in fact, there was a statement that said, according to the Constitution, the Section 182 of the 1999 Constitution is a violation. You know, so he needs to. So they now went back judging with his primary living school certificate, right. and they are conflicting names. You know, so that's the grounds to which they have annulled that. Um, his victory. Yes, that victory for. Do we know his for the name? Honestly, family. I would say that this is this is makes the would I say party or whoever is in charge of taking note of all those things before you come out for election. It makes it, it makes the person or the people look very inept. Mm. These are research you should carry out so when you get eventually get victory you don't have like you should declare your assets you should your presidential what am i saying um, everything your you degrees mean. exactly everything, they should yes. be accurate this so this common. is really embarrassing this yeah. is common didn't Buhari also have some documents yeah, that the president had sense? well they had issues NYC. but we are saying that for for us in in this country let's get things right you know so and i'm happy that the supreme court has you know picked it up yeah picked it, picked it up and you know they have um, annulled that yeah. That victory, so. You know, someone said on Twitter that now that um, the APC candidate is no longer um, governor-elect... Because it's a day to his inauguration. Exactly. The inauguration was governor. supposed to yeah. be today, to, this Friday, yeah. Valentine's Day. So um, now that he's no longer... APC are no longer um, the, the, the governor-elect, that he hopes that President Buhari would come for it, like the, the new gov uh, governor-elect who is from... PDP. <laughs> Twitter, Nigerians are savages on Twitter. Like It is terrible. good, though, because, you know, they remind you of all your promises, and they remind you when you mm. say that you are for nobody, you are for everybody. Because right. if you are for everybody, and I keep saying that these things, we, we take things beyond, well, it doesn't really happen here in Nigeria. We, we've seen Trump doing the same thing. Yeah. But the truth is that if you say that you are um, the federal government, federal government is, is supposed to be for everybody. Mm -hmm. You're not supposed to be you know, loyal to a particular party. Even though your party did not win the election, you can still work hand in hand and make... Absolutely, because the yes. goal is what? Governing the citizens mm -hmm. and ensuring good life for us. So it's not about your personal victories or uh, losses. It's about the people. Absolutely. So if you put the people first, so you can actually do anything. Sadly, mm -hmm. that is not the case of people. Yeah, that's the ask. ideal. I have the ideal in my head all the time. <laughs> all right, so we have good arrested. He will join us right after the break. Please stay with us.